Oh, running on empty, run low on ideas, run low. Predicted this bullshit at the beginning of the year. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 19, and I think we all called this ending. I think everyone literally called this ending. But let's talk about it. This is, technically speaking, the season finale, whereas next Thursday is going to be the show finale, the series finale. This shows the effects of the rapture. It is it, the final showdown with Chuck. They had to throw in just a few more cameos just for the sake of it. All of the build-up, all of the hope that y'all had for Michael doing something in this episode or this season, <laughs> taking a giant dump on that. If any of you had anything in mind other than the obvious idea that Jack would replace God, <laughs> that also just did not happen at all. Everything about this episode was incredibly, incredibly predictable. But it wasn't put together terribly, I guess you could say. I did find it interesting that they were somehow able to pull fucking Lucifer out one last time. While the idea of turning Michael on the boys because of the whole Lucifer complex was so juvenile, I swear that was written by a six-year-old. Because that shit was obvious. I first I thought they were going to do the whole spell MacGuffin thing, which was like, oh great, here we go, dab with another another MacGuffin spell. But in the end, he just does a very, very heartless, soulless, and lazy recut of Swan Song. With the brothers getting the absolute crap beaten out of them, and then Jack doing exactly what we all said he was gonna do, except this time he's been a power vacuum this whole time. Apparently he's been sucking up powers and whatnot ever since he bombed and blew up and then instant restarted in the empty. Why wasn't the empty the villain? Why couldn't the empty have been like the villain of this season? We all thought that was going to be a good idea. That was a hell of a lot better than what we got in this season. Hell, the empty has been around for what, two years now? And this is what we went with? This? This predictable outcome? I've usually never been like 100% on the point with what supernatural finales are going to be, but holy shit was I down. Oh, at least it had two good songs. It had Come Together Now, which was great, and, and then it had Running on Empty, and the very bizarre clip show at the end, which heavily used a lot of the first five seasons, I noticed, and then it kind of dipped in between for... A show that went 15 seasons, they certainly showed a lot of the first five seasons. And then it kind of just went through all these different characters and then it just ended up... What was that last clip? That last clip was like from what, season 12 or something? I don't know, it just... Like, this wasn't technically put together terribly. The camera work is decent. The editing is decent. The music choice. Oh my god, it's been so long since we've seen or heard any licensed music. That wasn't bad. Acting's okay, even though the guys are just basically doing copy cut of what they've done before. It's just, it was so goddamn predictable. And the whole time, I never had any fear. Like when the brothers get in the crap bean out of them, it's like, oh, oh no, they broke their bones. I didn't feel anything. After seeing Jack blow up and then instantly come back at the end of the last episode, or the beginning of the last episode, I, I just realized the stakes were just going to be completely absent from this finale. And it's very, very obvious. Sure, I like the idea of Chuck kind of being like, haha, you guys have no one around. He, 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 he. But again, I just knew that wasn't going to last. And there's at least three different plot threads in this episode that are neatly crammed together, funnily enough, even if they are just like cliff notes of an actual big story. It's not the worst season finale if we're, if we're gonna go by the last five seasons the last five season finales it's certainly better than 14 it's certainly better than 12 better ish than 13 yeah 11 still better than this one it's pretty much as lackluster as i expected it to be so i'm not really surprised to be honest so in the end 
I'm gonna give this finale a three out of seven. It follows points, it's very lacking, it's very boring, but it's still put together decently. Realistically, realistically it would be a 3.5. I only do a negative or a positive and I'm much more leaning towards the negative. But hey, it's not terrible. It was just incredibly predictable and boring. All right guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Leave me your comments. Please spell check. Because I imagine you guys are going to have a lot of them. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.